Okay, so the question that I got on this card was why? Why does um, subtracting negatives work? What's going on here? And that's a great question to ask. Um, subtracting negatives is a process that can really confuse us if we're not sure about what's happening. Um, let's first be sure that uh, we understand adding a negative and what this means. Um, okay, so we'll start there and then we'll talk about adding negatives and then how that connects to subtracting negatives. Um, let's use the problem uh, 9 plus negative 5. And to answer this problem, we can think of having this number 9, 9 something, 9 beans, 9 cookies, something. We have 9 things. And then over here we have negative 5, and we're putting these things together. Well, negative 5, let's see if there's maybe x's, 5 x's. And we have these 9 chips, we're combining these two, this group with this group. That's what adding means, to combine two groups. And when we do that, we have to first remember what an x plus 1 o means. So in other words, 1 negative and 1 positive. Um, these are two numbers are called opposites. And if we have two opposites, we add them, we get 0. The idea being that negative 1 is exactly opposite of 0 that positive 1 is. And if we look at the number line, we can see how it's balanced. There's 0, here's 1, here's negative 1. The idea is that if you were to add negative 1, you start down here from 0, hop down, and then add 1 to it, you get 0. If you reverse it and you start it at 1, and then you add a negative 1, you go to the left. Either way, you end up at 0. So this is this idea of balance. So when we add, we have to remember, remember this idea because it's, it's fundamental. Negative 5, we have these 5 negative values, and we have these 9 positive values. Every x and o cancel each other out. So since there are five x's and nine o's, these one, two, three, four, five o's cancel out with these five x's, and the answer is left over, which is four o's, or positive four. So in a sense, adding a negative value moved us from negative nine to positive nine to four. Let's look at that on the number line. So here's nine, and our equation again is nine plus negative five, and then we add negative five. So that means we go this way to the left in the negative direction on the number line. So adding a negative makes us go to the left. We start at 9, and we're going to hop down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. That means we're going down to 8, 7, 6, 5, and our answer of 4. So 9 plus negative 5 is 4 because we move to the left when we add a negative. This is really an important idea. Okay, so if, that, if, we, if we can accept that, that we're moving to the left when we're adding a negative, then we have this idea of subtracting a negative. And what we have to remember is that adding and subtracting are inverses or opposites in terms of operations. So they're opposite operations. And what that means is that opposite operations move in opposite directions. Oops opposite directions. So there's this idea of balance in math where adding and subtracting are just pulling against each other on different directions in the number line. So when we had 9 plus negative 5, we started at 9 and moved to the left 5 times when we added a negative 5. So we moved to the left and we add a negative number, which means that we moved to the right if we subtract a negative. So we add negative, that means we move left. If we subtract a negative, remember that's the opposite of adding, that means we have to move in the opposite direction or move to the right. So if we had 9 minus negative 5, this time we're going to move to the right in the positive direction. We start off at 9, and instead of moving, adding negative and going to the left, we're subtracting negative and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right, which brings us to 14. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And this is really just like adding 5. So this is often this question, which is, why does um, 9 minus negative 5 equal 9 plus 5? Well, because when we subtract a negative, we move to the right, and that's just the same thing as adding, positive. So subtracting a negative and adding positive are equal.